It is my fear that in view of the direction in which things are moving today, the political and economic dynamics of the countries of the world may lead to a world war. Therefore, it is the duty of the superpowers to sit down and find a solution to save humanity from the brink of disaster. 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 You understand at a profound level that promoting religious freedom is an essential building block for peace and stability here and throughout the world. In this, we are allied with His Holiness, a courageous champion of religious freedom and of peace. Allah ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lahu. Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed is the present head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, the most dynamic international community within Islam. The community was established by Hazrat Mirza Khulam Ahmed in Kardian, a small and remote village in India. He claimed to be the expected reformer of the latter days, the one awaited by all major world religions. Founded in 1889, the community has continued to spread throughout the world, flourishing under caliphate, the system of spiritual leadership established after the demise of the Holy Founder. The current successor of this movement, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed, continues the work of the Holy Founder to revive the spiritual and moral state of mankind. The movement embodies the benevolent message of Islam and its pristine purity, a movement that preaches peace, universal brotherhood, and submission to the will of God. Ahmadi Muslims have earned the distinction and reputation of being a law-abiding and peaceful community. Within a century, the movement has reached all the corners of the earth and has been recognized and praised by the global community. Love for all, hatred for none. Those words from your third Khalifa are more important, more crucial, more essential today than they have ever been. And of course, the Ahmadi have always practiced this peace-loving philosophy. I would thank you also that you have stressed uh, the importance of showing that Islam is the religion of peace, not the religion of hate, uh, as it was stated on the wall in the Yalsa, love for all, hatred for none. I think that is the message that the world really <laughs> needs the huge respect we have, we all have, for your work day by day in making a reality of peace and brotherhood across the communities in this country and across the world. Wherever the movement has been established, it endeavors to exert a constructive influence of Islam through social projects, educational institutes, health services, Islamic publications, and the construction of mosques. These endeavors continue, despite the bitter persecution that the community suffers in some countries. We need all the goodness we can find in today's world. And I applaud you for your contribution in Britain and worldwide to community cohesion and the enjoyment of diversity that is such a precious asset. And I would like to pay an additional tribute to the work being done by Ahmadis in raising standards in Africa and particularly in education. Yes, Britain has welcomed the headquarters of the Ahmadis in this country, but it hasn't become something that's become, as it were, a closed sect in Britain. It's become a community that has sought to reach out to all of us. And that's very important because the best way to break down the barriers of misunderstanding and prejudice is for that contact to happen, and I thank you for that. Your faith is dedicated to serving the society that you live in, and from what I've seen, heard, and, and, and experienced from mainstream charities, schools, and churches, your faith and community have contributed in significant ways. I have personally experienced and heard that you have raised tens of thousands of pounds uh, on sponsored walks for children, older people and people with disabilities. 
You have dedicated yourselves to charitable social projects, and most significantly of all, you have not distinguished between faiths, ethnicities, or communities. The community's many social projects, aimed at helping those in need, bears testimony to humanitarian concerns in respect of all human beings, regardless of race, color, or creed. Your own work, Your Holiness, particularly in West Africa, is well known. And we heard just now about your attempts to bring water and energy supplies to some of the poorest communities in West Africa. Together, we should fight common enemies, such as illiteracy, disease, hunger, and poverty. The Admir Ahmadiyya mission has put structures in place towards the fight against these common enemies in order to enhance the dignity of man. I'd like to start by saying just how important the work of the Ahmadiyya community is. It deepens others' understanding of your own faith, and it gives a voice to those who are marginalized in their own societies. Now, what has so impressed me as I have come to understand more about uh, the Ahmadiyya faith is your remarkable commitment to interfaith dialogue, your commitment to the principle of non-compulsion in religion, and your commitment to peace and tolerance. You the Amadis stand as a beacon in your strong belief that we must find the answers to these debates through open, thoughtful, and gentle discussion. And you are also a beacon because you show us that we must find the answers to these debates through practical action. At this pivotal point in international relations, many questions and concerns have been raised concerning the doctrines of Islam, most have incorrectly interpreted Islam as endorsing violence and terrorism. The Ahmadiyya community has always demonstrated the spirit of tolerance, goodwill and true brotherhood. It advocates peace, love and understanding among followers of different faiths. It firmly believes in and acts upon Quranic teachings. It strongly rejects violence and terrorism in any form and for any reason. The movement offers a clear presentation of Islamic wisdom, philosophy, morals, and spirituality as derived from the Holy Quran and the practice of the Holy Prophet of Islam, Muhammad. Your interpretation of jihad has always been in stark contrast to the extremist imams that we all deplore. We especially applaud His Holiness for denouncing those who pervert faith by claiming it as a justification for violence. However we define God, it is wrong to kill in his name. His Holiness, Hazret Mirza Masroor Ahmed, the present head of the community, continues in his effort to unite people from all faiths and cultures. He has traveled extensively to spread the message of peace and to remind everyone to respect the rights of other human beings. During these tours, His Holiness has met world leaders from the Far East to Europe, from North America to Africa, discussing the economic, social, and political problems facing the world today and how to create peace and justice in the world. He has also met religious and community leaders in order to share common values and core ideals universal to all religions and cultures with a view to improving the moral state of mankind and creating an atmosphere of love and affection. He has personally initiated social projects and schemes to alleviate poverty and human suffering. His concern is not just about the well-being and moral state of the members of the Ahmadiyya community. Let us make a resolution. Let us make this resolution to promote the message of peace and brotherhood, which is your message to mankind, that people of different religions should not quarrel and fight with each other, but should accept and tolerate and live together in that spirit of brotherhood and peace, which is the essence of your religion. 